Greetings everyone, welcome aboard, Joseph James, SchoolTrade.com. In today's video, I want to talk more about trend lines. Now guys, you can get all kinds of information about trend lines on our blog. Either click the link below the video. If you're on the blog right now, use the search box. And this video should be located here under Trade Room Resources on the blog. You can also go to SidewaysMarkets.com. That is our URL for our blog. All right, guys, so let's talk about trend lines today. Well, what are trend lines, first of all? Well, trend lines are one of the oldest forms of technical analysis, right, that day traders have been using for centuries. We can use trend lines on any type of trader, whether you're a scalper, a day trader, a swing, or a position trader. And guys, the idea here is, is that any trader, right, any type of trader on any type of market or any type of chart time frame can use trend lines based on the simple idea that the markets move in trends. Well, of course, these days, right, the time of which the market spends trending is a lot less than it used to be, but that's, of course, right, here, neither here nor there. The fact of the matter is the market is believed to moving trends, and until it breaks that trend, right, we use these trend lines. Now, again, these trend lines can be used on charts of any kind, and they can also be drawn using indicators, right? Now, we talk about this all the time where we'll take a trend line on the pace of tape indicator, we'll draw a trend line on the momentum indicator, we'll draw a trend line on the volume indicator, right? So this same technique of drawing trend lines can be used on indicators as well. Now, very important, if you learn one thing today from this video, this will be it. Trend lines give us three distinct pieces of information. Remember, as a day trader, we're always looking for feedback from the market. Well, a trend line is going to tell me a lot of feedback. First of all, it's going to tell me the direction of the current price trend, right? Is it up or down? Is it long or short? That's the first thing that trend line tells me. The second thing is, is the strength of the current price trend. Now, if I have a real steep trend line like this, right? If here's my, here's my market and I have a very steep trend line, Right? As you can imagine, that real steep trend line okay, will tell me, right? steep trend line, that will tell me the strength of the current trend. Whereas if I had a trend line that looked like this, right, that would tell me now that the, that the trend was not as strong. See that? The slope of my, of my trend line will tell me the strength of the current price trend. All right? But now, of course, this might be even more important, the last thing is it tells us the future support and resistance. Okay, so once again, the first thing that the trend line tells me is the direction of the trend, right? Is it up or down, long or short? The second thing that a trend line tells me is the strength of that current trend, right? What's the slope of that trend line? Is it steep or is it flat? And the third and final thing, which is very important for us, in fact, we made some money today on gold trading just by using this final illustration here and that is it's going to tell us the future support and resistance okay where's my next trend line okay so for example if I if I take a breakout trade right I take a breakout trade to the downside here there's my breaker pattern short and if I see a trend line here right what if I see a a trend line here right I'm going to know where to take my target right there right we expect price to bounce off that trend line. Okay, so that's the third thing. Okay, it tells us where the future support and resistance is. And guys, as you know, I will use that future support for stops and targets, right, and potential entries. Okay, so we have to know where that future support is. Now, here's a real basic illustration of how trend lines are drawn. Okay, on the left side, here's a down trend line. You can see, of course, right, marking up these highs here as price comes down. And then, of course, on the right side, this would be an uptrend line. You can see we mark up these, these lows here. And price, of course, follows the trend to the upside. All right, guys? So very, very basic there. And, of course, this is what they call a point and figure chart, right? PFC, point and figure chart. A little bit different than your candlestick charts you guys used to see in there. All right, but good example there, guys, what trend lines look like on your charts. Okay, now, remember, trend lines are real simple. We're going to draw these during our morning routine. Now, come out and join us every day, 7.45 a.m. We'll go through all the markets. We'll draw our trend lines. Okay, these trend lines, very important as part of our morning routine. There's a lot more information about this in the beginner's course, so watch the video on trend lines 
right, in the beginner's course. And what I'll do is I'll start with my slower time frame first. 34 range chart is what I prefer, but of course you could use a, a 15 minute chart, a 30 minute chart, all right? I don't know, lots of other lots of other slower time frames you guys can choose from, but this is where I like. I'll use that 34 range chart, and then I'll draw my trend lines in the 34 range, then move to the fast chart, draw my trend lines in the 4 range. Okay, so 4 range chart much faster, so I'll start with my slow chart, I'll then move to the faster chart, and draw my trend lines there as well. We'll mark the lows, we'll mark the highs, and don't forget, guys, these hidden trend lines. All right, now, let's take a look at some basic patterns here. Now, here's one we saw this morning, right? Here's one we saw this morning. We've got a little bit of a sideways market here. And so we define a wedge pattern now, okay, at the highs. As you can see here, we can mark the highs. We mark the lows, right? That's a real easy one, right? Real easy one there, right? Mark the, mark the lows here, mark the highs, all right? And then you know what's going to happen, right? We're now going to wait here now for price to break out. Right, so once price breaks out of that wedge pattern, that's going to be our clue, right, to take the breakout trade. Or we can trade inside the wedge pattern, right? We can sell the highs like this, or we can buy the lows down bottom. All right, guys. But again, as you can see, the trend lines here from the highs and from the lows. Now let's look at a sideways market, right? Here's a sideways market. You can see there's really no well-defined trend there, right? Which way is the market going here? It's a sideways market. But now there are some hidden trend lines in here. Let's see. How about this one? You can see here we've marked up one, two, three highs here, right? And all three of those highs, you can see, creates a trend line from the downside, right? Well, what about the next one? We'll add the trend line, from, right, from the upside. Same thing. Now, keep an eye here too, guys, is I'm also going to be able to add a trend line at these highs as well, all right? So you also want to grab this and draw your trend line, right, like that, right, from high to high. So at these two highs here, we can also draw a trend line. All right, so don't forget about those those hidden trend lines, right? For example, this one. See this hidden one here? We have this little tiny swing low there, and we'll mark a trend line just like that, right? That way we know where support's going to be. Okay, so those are called hidden trend lines, right? These trend lines that are not the most recent low, right? But they're darn close, right? They're previous lows. All right, guys, I want you guys to focus on that there for a second. That's very important. Right, those sideways markets. Okay, now what about a sideways trend line? What about a flat trend line? Well, of course, you can see here, this is a pretty sloppy, choppy market here. We can draw a trend line from the highs, right, high to high. I can also draw a trend line at those lows, right? Now this defines what we call a flat trend, a sideways market. All right, guys? So some great examples there in how we use trend lines, right? We can draw them from the highs and lows like this to create our wedge patterns, right? Buy the high, sell, the, sell the highs buy the lows. Okay, we could also, of course, look for hidden trend lines during sideways markets. There's one right there, right? Add the bottom there. Okay, then don't forget about sideways, right? Flat trend lines. There's your top, right? Pretty easy to see that. And there's your bottom, right? Real easy stuff, right? Not too complicated yet. All right, guys, let's recap. Now, what are trend lines, right? Trend lines are the most common form of technical analysis, right? The markets move from trend to trend. They can be used for any trader, and I mean any trader. Scalper, day trader, swing trader, whether you trade in Forex, stocks, options, futures, ETFs, does not matter, guys. Any trader can use trend lines. Now, I want to invite you guys tomorrow morning. Come out and join me at 745. And at 745, I'll show you our morning routine and how we get our day started by drawing trend lines. Don't forget, all this information is also covered in the beginner's course, right? Lots of great information in the beginner's course. And don't forget, follow along with me tomorrow morning in our live trade room. I always tell my clients that. You'll learn more by doing than by simply watching. So rather than watching me set up my charts, come join us, right? As a guest, I'll let you guys follow right along with me, and I'll show you tomorrow, without being a member, how to set up your trend lines. So come join as a member, right? Come join as a, as a free three-week trial guest, and come out and learn by doing by using the trend lines along with us every day in our live trade room. All right, guys, hope the video helps. Draw those trend lines correctly. They're going to make you money every day, and we'll see you guys here tomorrow. Bye-bye for now.